it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Hip Kit Club and I'm working with the December 2021 kits. So this layout will feature the main kit, the pocket life kit and also some bits from the embellishment kit. And it's weekly challenge Friday so we have a sketch for you this week so my layout will be based on this sketch and I do stick pretty close to it um, although there are some elements that I do change so I've, I've used it as a jumping off point um, but six photos on one layout did scare me somewhat um, so I'm going to change the center part slightly and I will just have three photos on my layout um, but certainly you will see that I have used this sketch as my jumping off point. So the sketch has lots of large circles on the background. Those are going to be represented on my layout using some paper folded rosettes and I really love to make these. They can be a little bit fiddly at times but the actual process itself is really simple. There's nothing really difficult about them. Um, so I've cut three strips of paper. It's one of the pattern papers from the main kit and I'm scoring it every quarter of an inch. And I've cut these about an inch and a half wide. Uh, when I've done three strips, I'm going to cut the third one in half and attach it to the other two so that I end up with two 18 inch long strips. And I'm scoring um, all the way along at every quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to fold that paper back and forward concertina style so I end up with like a fan, um, bring the ends together and then I'll make my circles. You'll see um, in a bit more detail in a minute if it's something you've not made before, but they're really not that difficult to make. Um, and I had full intentions of using this gorgeous coloured polka dot side of the paper when I started this but once I'd folded my rosettes round um, the coloured circles kind of got lost in the folds and it just almost looked like white paper it didn't look anything special um, which I thought was a bit of a waste when the papers are so beautiful so I actually ended up using the other side of this paper which is a darker blue shade with some stars on now I do lose the stars obviously because of the paper folds um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. I'd planned to use the circle paper and thought it would look really pretty, um, but I just lost all the circles, so I ended up going with the other side instead. So I've skipped through a lot of the scoring and folding process for you. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but this is the third strip I've got here. I've cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna use some red tape to stick one piece to each of my 12 inch long strips, and then I'll have my 18 inch long strip. Um, and then I'm gonna stick the two ends together, like so, and then you can kind of gently push it down on your desk, um, and you get that lovely circle rosette. Um, and that's the point when I realized that I'd completely lost that polka dot pattern. Um, could have had a little cry about it if I'm honest to put um, oh well it just meant that my colour scheme for this layout kind of changed and adapted a little bit as I went along but just um, making my second rosette now and I'm going to make four rosettes in total I've got two larger ones out of that uh, well what will be the blue pattern paper now um, and I also make two using one of the um, coloured cardstocks from the cardstock kit and I make those slightly smaller. So I think I do one inch wide by 12 inches long for the smaller ones. And just to secure these in place, I just punch a hole from some white cardstock and use my glue gun on the back as I find that's the best thing for rosettes. Um, it dries really quickly and really strong hold. Um, just apply a bit of glue on the back and then add that uh, punch circle um, and just hold it in place for a few seconds until it's dried and hardened off. Um, and then you have your rosettes. So I'm not going to have as many circles on my background as the sketch has. Um, in fact, I don't follow the sketch with my circle placements at all. Um, I've just used that as my jumping off point. So I've got my circles on my background and I'm going to have some stars as well. Now on the sketch, you've got two strips of three photos and that made me really nervous having six photos on one page. Um, so instead of having that second strip, I'm going to use one of the longer journaling cards from the, or the pocket life cards from the pocket life kit. And I've picked that kind of minty colour to match my smaller rosettes. Um, I'm going to have my photos kind of mounted on that. And that's going to kind of act as my second strip. 
um, cheating a little bit there but it's made the sketch work for me and I've actually printed the same photo twice uh, three times sorry um, with my little boy on New Year's Day baking some cakes and wearing his new apron and chef's hat that he got in his Christmas stocking um, it's just a perfect way for us to welcome in the new year and kickstart it he loves baking one of his favorite things to do um, so that's what we did on New Year's Day at home together um, and I managed to grab a few photos of him doing so. So this is where I go a bit off-piste and decide to add some mixed media to my background. Now there's nothing really on the sketch that depicts mixed media but I do like to have a little bit on my layout if I can. So I've pulled out one of the ink pads that we got in the November colour kit and I'm using a blending brush and just adding it around the outside of where my rosettes and photos are going to sit just to give a little bit of colour and almost like a glow underneath my rosettes and photos. So the sketch also has some stars on it, so I'm going to make some 3D stars for my layout. I've got dimension already with my rosette, so I thought why not? Um, so I've cut I think five in total, but I only end up using three. And these are from that lovely white paper that's got the black really small polka dot all over it. And I thought it'd be lovely, because I've got black and white photos, it'd be really nice to introduce a black and white element to my layout. Um, so this paper was perfect. And I'm just scoring um, each point all the way down through the star and then I'll use my fingers to kind of manipulate those and fold them slightly just to make them 3D. And like I said, I made five stars, but I only ended up using three. So I'm just having a bit of a play to see where I might like to have those sitting. Um, and I'm going to start working on getting things stuck in place. So I'm using my glue gun to get my rosettes in place just to make sure they hold. And then I'm going to go around the edge of those stars with some glossy accents. Um, they're not the easiest thing in the world to stick to a layout because they don't have a lot of surface area to touch the, the layout, if that makes sense. Um, so it's just trying to get a little bit of glossy accents onto each of those edges um, and then hold it in place until they stick down. Just try not to flatten it too much as you do. So that's my stars in place. I'm going to get my photos stuck down now um, and I get a bit heavy handed with my glue gun. <laughs> I get a bit glue happy and I end up putting glue where the photos aren't going to sit. So I've got a little splodge of glue on that bottom left rosette um, that I'm now going to need to cover up with an embellishment. But never mind, um, I've got to embellish anyway so I'll just be a bit strategic where I place my embellishments. I'm going to get my title added in first before I do anything else. Now on the sketch, the title is down in the bottom right hand corner. Um, so I've done my title in kind of two parts. I wanted to get 2022 on the page. So I've used the bigger alphas from the main kit up the top. And then I'm going to um, have the title kind of represented as it is on the sketch down in that corner. But I'm going to have it following the curve of my rosette. Um, and my title becomes 2022, bring it on. Um, and I think that goes really well with my photo. My little boy's got this really cheeky grin um, and it's almost like he's saying, like, bring it on, let's get going. So that's my title. That's all in place now. 
and I'm going to work on the embellishments. Now, I don't want to add a massive amount to this layout. Um, I've got my circles on my stars. They take up a lot of space already, and I don't want the page to get too crowded. But I obviously want to add some bits because the kits are beautiful, and I need to use some of it. <laughs> I can't hoard it. I must use it. So I've added a little woolly hat and a pair of slippers to the smaller rosettes. Now, they might seem like a weird choice, um, but the woolly hat obviously re reminded me of the chef's hat that my little boy is wearing. Um, so that's why I've used that. And the slippers obviously make me think of being cosy at home and we were at home in these photos. So I've used those for the centers of the two smaller rosettes. And then the two larger ones, I've just punched circles from the same cardstock I used for the smaller rosettes, um, just to bring a bit of that color over to them. And I've just covered the center of my rosettes up using that. I've also added a few hearts, um, those from the puffy stickers sheet, I believe. And I've also added two arrows, so I've one above the slippers and one above the woolly hat. Um, and I've used that one above the slippers to cover my glue splodge strategically. So that's taken care of that. Um, I've also added a couple of chipboard stars in. Um, I've got a piece that says hello 2022 over on that bottom rosette there and a little banner at the top. Now that said, remember this, um, I've put it underneath my photo so you can only see it remember, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. Um, I wanted to have something there and I want to remember this memory. So that works well for me. Um, also another piece at the bottom of my photos that says our happy place. And then there was that gorgeous house on the chipboard sheet. Um, I had to get that on because obviously we're at home. So I've popped that over to the right of my photos and that kind of bridges the gap between those two rosettes nicely. And then to finish off my layout, I've added some splatters in the same ink pad that I used to add that blended ink behind my rosettes. And I'm just finishing off using that really sparkly, beautiful Nouveau Drops that we get in the December colour kit. Just added a few of those around the edges and that is me finished. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the process and this layout offers you some inspiration in using your December kits. I will pop some links in the description box below to the hip kit website where you can find these kits for you. Um, if you want to take part in this challenge, please do. You'll find the sketch over on the blog and also on our Facebook group. I'll pop a link to that in the description box below, but it'd be great if you could join in with our sketch challenge and pop your layout up in our group. Um, don't forget if you are a hip kit subscriber, you get a discount on the main kit you also get free shipping on any additional kits and you also get access to subscriber only cut files and um, which is a great benefit um, hip kit do some fantastic cut files so well worth subscribing to hip kit but thanks for joining me for this layout i'll leave you with the rest of the close-ups and i'll see you next time